Hello everyone. So you can see a new robot with a gripper and uh, with the help of the keyboard I am able to uh, operate this robot. It can pick up few of the small objects. It can uh, drop it in the same place. And even it can show different moves like going front, grabbing an object and then again coming back. So even it can lift an object, you can see over here, yes, so you can see it can hold a small toy and lift it up and down. So this is something a pick and place robot. Hello everyone, so today I have come up with an interesting project called pick and place robot. So there is a huge application of pick and place robot in industries like you can see in car industries and this whole pick and place robot I am going to program in scratch for Arduino. I downloaded the 3D printed file from thingiverse.com and then this I have just printed the robotic arm with the gripper and the link of this I have put it in the description box. Hello guys, so here you can see by using the keyboard buttons like A and S, I am able to make the gripper open and close. So let us start with the programming. So first we go to the control and we take a option like when A is pressed and then I am going to get a say option like it is going to open or close. So over here I am writing the comment. And once I am done with the comment, now I am going to select the servo motor which is connected in the motor pin. You can see and it is motor pin 8 and I am going to give the angle. Once I am done with the angle, now I am going to duplicate it and then I want S button so that I can do the another part. So and again I am changing the angle and then yeah so over here I am writing like gripper close so now when I click to the green flag I can now when I press A it is going to open and when I press S it is going to close so once again I would like to show like A S so I hope you can see that Hi, so over here we are going to make the servo motor move very smooth. So we will be uh, clicking the same way like when uh, clicked up arrow and down arrow. So over here we are going to use a for loop in the program so that my servo motor will go very smooth and slowly up and down. So you can see how I am going to uh, make a variable first and I am taking the variable as x and the value of x I am assigning it over here like the servo motor position which is for uh, like up. Okay, So from here I am taking a loop. So this loop is going to make the servo motor move from one position to the another position. Let us take I want 50 steps. So I am going to give this as a 50. And inside this for loop I am going to write the code for uh, the change in degrees. Okay. So first I have selected the digital uh, like pin and then I am going to select the angle and that angle I am going to give it as x okay so that whatever the value of x is going to change the servo motor will change in that way okay and then I am giving an increment so in the same way I am just going to make it for the 
another one let us take one is incrementing means if it is going from up to down then other one will go decrement so it will be again changing with minus one degree okay so these are the two ways you can copy it and with the help of this you can increase the speed you can decrease the speed in when you change this delay timing so your servo will be acting more faster or more slower as per your speed requirement so now i will be showing you the live demo how the uh, robotic arm is going up and down so now in the robot when i am pressing the up arrow key you can see the robot arm is going slowly up and uh, another you can see from when i'm pressing the down button it is slowly going down so by using up arrow key and down arrow key i'm able to move the robotic arm at a very smooth speed hello guys so in this i'm going to change it front and moving back so here I have just copy and pasted the previous program only. I am just changing the uh, front arrow key and back arrow key and then the motor pins like I am changing it for pin 4 and then the angles like for up if it is different angle and for down if it is different angle. I have just changed those things and then I can just uh, check it with the robot. So now in the robot you can see when I am uh, using the arrow key, front arrow key, so the robot is going front and when I am using the back arrow key, the robot is coming back. Okay, so this is done very smoothly because we have used a delay in the code. So I hope you like the way it's going front and then coming back. Thank you for watching this video and I hope you like this project and if you need any help regarding making of this or 3D printing of it you can contact me on my mail id. Thank you and have a great day.